so that's 90 so far. And you want the engine, I'd say 40 instead of 50. About 100 bucks for everything. How come you didn't make uh, any offers on anything? Um, because nothing was worth any value. So I'm not gonna buy shit if it's not worth anything, you know? Yeah, that did kind of, that kind of looks like a liquidation sale almost. Like the guy's just trying to get rid of his trash before taking it to the Goodwill. 100% like that. At that time, it's not, it's not worth the time or money to even stop and like chit chat. <laughs> Yeah, so we're heading this estate sale. We're heading this estate sale. No, we don't like doing people's estate sales that are run by companies. But right now we have to hack them in a sense, right? We have to find what they missed and go from there. A bunch of shit. Sometimes it's a waste of money. It's a company, so it's a bit harder than if you're at a normal garage sale. Uh, but you still have to try to find what they missed. It's going to be a bit more difficult. These realistics. More can and can quarter. I'll check that out in a second. Okay. Hmm. The office supplies. Looks like. Bunch of stuff. What do we got going on with this cloth over here? 20 bucks. Not a whole lot of meat left on the bone with these prices. Man, I remember I had one of these as a kid. <laughs> I never could get it to work. These longer ones don't really aren't worth money. Longer, um, old school. So all we can do is what we did here is if you want to keep the camera, so it can be box. Most stuff you can download it for anyway. Yeah. Exactly. Oh wow! Look at that. You see that, dude? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah. 
lens. Yeah. The Vitar. The Vitar is lower end. Really? Through the fur. Canon Pentax. Canon Pentax Nikon. Sigma? Uh, Sigma Zero. I'll leave this pretty cool bottle over there. Mm -hmm. Oh wow, pretty nice binoculars. Vintage Exacto set, that's pretty cool. Tie. Did you leave this like vintage X Acto set? Got some leather chaps here. Tina. Mm -hmm. No brand name though, that's problematic. I'm talking about the bigger the bundle, the better the deal. That's, uh, that's pretty much the name of the game when it comes to this kind of stuff. <laughs> Look at this. this. This person was so proud that they were able to put this puzzle together. They framed it to make sure it would never be puzzle pieces ever again. Look at that. Framing a puzzle. That's something that's new. I've never seen that one before. <laughs> Sorry about the delay there. Okay. I have someone on the phone. I'm like, no, I'm not answering the phone. I have too many things to do. I the Yeah. Okay, so we had in all of this, right? U.S. Paratrooper. Snapback. U.S. Paratrooper Snapback. I think I might throw that on the pod just for shits. That's pretty tight. That's like the old school Wilson. The old school Wilson logo. The big black book. What is in the black book? Hair care secrets. Why women go bald. Dandruff signals stress. Hmm, interesting. It's like oh these things no. that are brand new. It's gonna be worth some cash. I sold a Jumanji one time for a hundred bucks, bought it for a dollar. Wow. Alright, so it looks like we might have finally found where the where the money's at. Here we go. 
nice little outboard boat motor. Here's where all that remote control stuff is too. Here's a nice remote control plane. Remote controls. Yeah, sure. 100.7. All the web is worth money. All right, so we just we just bought the. Uh, well, that is now ours. Well, that's going to be ours. <laughs> Eventually. That, I call that, I mean, that's like a, a sawing jig. If we can get it at the right price, we'll get it. Exactly. Alright, here's a nice little uh, ta table vise. Mm -hmm. That's pretty cool. No name. You can find it. Oh, wow. So, what do we got going on? Let's go Oh wow, look at that old school speaker. That is cool. Wait, so this probably opens up, right? Oh wow. Look at that. What? Tape deck. Yo. Wow. It's gonna be worth some, it's gonna be worth some cash. Could be, could be worth a little bit of money. TC6. <laughs> Okay, okay. Put this in our pile. Put, put that, throw that in the pile. Lock in, lock in. <laughs> All right, so we're getting, we're getting close. Add that to the stack. Gotta do it. Dirty hands, clean money. Outboard motor. Found a little uh, flashlight. Bellismo. Probably's got some value. Makita name brand. I've got all the drill bits. They all look to be in good condition. everything. Full pile. 
and then smoke too. Uh, 110. Alright, let me write this up for you so you can locate the ladies. Cool. Alright. Yeah. So you have under 20 up there. <laughs> Did you actually look at these? Did you open them up and look at them? Uh, yeah, so the, this <laughs> one's <laughs> no. Okay, you just got the box. The box is with it. Okay, I do have to look a couple of these up just to get, make sure I'm not giving it to you for $2 in there. Yeah. get at least ten dollars on the camera. Mm. These type these I usually get ten or twenty. So just these two pieces, most of the time I get thirty for. Yeah. But you're wanting all of this for thirty. I don't mind going fifty on it, but I but oh, one sixty for everything. So that one sixty. Wait, wait in the middle. Okay. One sixty five. One sixty five. Okay. Cool. <laughs> How's your doing business? <laughs> you too. All right, so Ty, how would you rate this sale? Um, it was good just because the state sale company didn't know what the hell they were doing, right? <laughs> know your numbers, people. Know your numbers. They could have made a lot more money off us if they knew what they had. But that's why, that's why these state sale companies are the best to go to if you're gonna do this because they have no idea what they're doing. They're guessing. They just really nearly did it the night before. Majority of things weren't priced, if anything. And I can no go shim down without any problem at all. Hello. Hello. Can you just hold the bike? Oh, it's gone. Okay. Yeah, it's gone. Dang. Yeah, so that one was a bust. So this is what we got with this motor. This is apparently an old Italian outboard motor. This thing is pretty cool. So it's a, it's a two stroke. Here's the gas tank. Obviously we got no gas. Pretty cool. Elto outboard motor. The guy, the guy said this is from the 1920s, so let's hope he was right. Our other big ticket item that we picked up was this Sony Sony player. These speakers, these speakers come off, and then it reveals like a big old tape deck. See that? So that's pretty darn cool. That's sweet. Boom. We 10x our money. And um, so we, we only paid a little bit of money. We expect to make a pretty good profit off of this. So it was a great morning. What's up guys? So we just got back from Sorcery, um, grabbing some stuff. Uh, you saw the load. That rear the rear player was great. Um, another thing that was awesome was that motor. We think it could be up to a thousand bucks, between 500 and a thousand bucks the way it sits, which is awesome. Old vintage uh, Italian motor. Um, no, just a couple other like small end things added up to be around two grand worth of uh, buys. We're looking at we paid 160 bucks, 
um, two grand or more depending on the motor price, a minimum of $1,600. So we made a good amount of money, 10X our money at least. Um, yeah, went to an estate sale because we are the better estate sale. We know how to just kill everybody's estate sale. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe for more daily content as much as we can to help you guys out make some cash.